So I wanted to show a video of the paddle shift system I'm putting in this car. It's all 3D printed. A little 1.8 inch shift indicator. I think I have about $15 and everything. And uh, it actually works pretty well. I'm gonna have it control the Turbo 400. The paddle shifters will control a small 12 volt DC linear actuator that'll move the shift cable. So I'll use the stock shift cable. I'll just mount the DC actuator in the place of the, uh, the shifter that I had in here before. I don't know if you can see that screen really well. I'll move the camera in a minute. Here I move the camera so you can see a little better. It's the shift indicator. It's about where it's going to be mounted. Right now I've got an enclosure on the 3D printer. It's printing right now. It has a, a hood over it because the little screen here does not like glare at all. You can't see anything when glare hits it, so that'll fix that. And I should be able to mount all of the electronics inside the little, little enclosure. I'll be able to take out this Speedmaster shifter that I bought for about $150. Uh, I don't think Speedmaster sells them anymore because they just don't work. I had to take apart the gated mechanism and redo everything in it to get it to actually shift. And it still doesn't shift very well. So I'm doing away with this completely. Right here I have a little box that has a 12 volt DC linear actuator. that will actuate the shift cable for me. So when I press the toggle it will move the shift cable. Right now I have this program for an automatic shifted one, but I'm going to have it programmed for one with a reverse manual valve body. So, go from neutral to one, to two, to three. This is not set up yet. The uh, cool thing about this setup is it's not just the shift. It's the wrong damn direction. Here we go. It's not just the shift to transmission. Um, I have it set and I was using a GPS and it doesn't work very well because if it loses signal everything goes to hell but I have it set right now so that if you're in gear and you're going more than three miles an hour you cannot back shift into neutral or reverse or park so you pretty much have to be stationary to switch into park reverse or neutral GPS module did not work out very well because if it loses signal for just a second everything stops working so I'm wiring up the front and the rear ABS sensors to use for speedometers and the front ABS sensors will run the speedo because they never really lose traction and then the rear will actually show wheel speed and I'll be able to take the front and the rear difference and know how much the back tires are spinning for traction control so I have a three-port MAC valve I'm going to wire to all four turbos and I'll be able to reduce duty cycle based on the percentage of wheel spin which would be pretty cool because I'll get traction control with the paddle shifters and then I'll be able to do uh, boost by speed so I can increase duty cycle based on how fast I'm going uh, for the three-port MAC valve and then I could do boost by time and when I get the manual valve body in here I'll actually be able to do boost by gear so I can increase duty cycle depending on which gear I'm in. So all said and done about 40 bucks in it and I will have a paddle shifted turbo 400 that has traction control, boost by gear, I can do boost by time, boost by speed, and a whole bunch of other stuff which is way way better than this crappy thing that I'm about to take out right now so hopefully by the time I post the next video I'll actually have the box mounted with the actuator in it and I can show that it just actuates the shift cable right here where it is I might move it to the front because right now it's set up as a pusher style system and this came with brackets for a pull type cable so I had to redo everything. I basically took the brackets on the trans and flipped them upside down 180 degrees. So I'll be able to fix that because I don't like the way they are right now. They bind up pretty bad down there. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this out. Oh, I forgot. Also, I can wire the TAC output to the Arduino Nano here from MicroSquirt. 
and I can use the shift indicator indicator sorry as a, a shift light so I can have it flash green or whatever color I decide to have it flash whenever it's time to shift and then I'll know to go ahead and shift another cool thing is I can build a uh, kind of like a spreadsheet for the Arduino I'll have to use a formula because you can't really put spreadsheets in the in the coding but I can uh, I can give it the RPM signal I can give it mile per hour I can give it gear and I can hit a button so I'll probably the new steering wheel I'll probably end up putting a few buttons on here for extra inputs and outputs and I'll be able to hit a button to convert a manual valve body to automatic shift so it will automatically shift first second and third gear and then back down when I stop uh, for a manual valve body with the paddle shift system which is pretty cool I don't think I'll ever need it but you never know when you're trying to eat and drive or something stupid so that might come in handy too it's actually pretty good system for 40 bucks because PCS charges for the paddle shifters and the uh, uh, the actuator the box the control unit and everything they charge about 1800 bucks for everything so hopefully I'll post another video in the next couple of weeks showing this thing done